Well, hello everybody. Penny here. I'm staying in the house at the moment because Shirley, Shirley and Ben have gone off to the Algarve. They always do this this time of year. So I've got a bit of comfort, got a nice fire. I've got some chocolate. You can have one if you want. And I've got some fruit. And what I want to talk about tonight is equality and diversity. Equality and diversity, it's a very, it's quite, you know, big words really for basically treating everybody with respect and understanding their different circumstances. Now this can be anybody, like um, it could be a <laughs> for instance when children start school sometimes they, their parents can't afford a, a new school uniform so they might have some hand-me-downs from their brothers and sisters now i know a lot of big families and you know that's the only way they can manage sometimes and other children bullying them and taking the mickey out of them causes them discomfort and much unhappiness. And this unhappiness can go on for years and years. So what I'm saying is we should treat each other the same, you know. Understand everybody's different. I smoke, you might not smoke. That is your choice. It's my human right. I know what it's doing to my body. Anyway, I have had a little bit of a whisper in the wind that there is a bit of a issue with young females bodily parts. Well, not just young females, adults as well. People taking the mickey out of different parts of the anatomy. I mean... Zero, seven, nine. Oh. I've got one of my calls. Hello. No. No. Hello. Who's calling, please? Can I, can I talk to Penny, please? Oh, hello. Yes, you're talking to Penny. How can I help you? Well, my name is Jules. Hello, Jules. And I, and I have a daughter called Abigail. Oh, that's a nice name, isn't it? What are those, pray tell? Well, I'm not really sure what they are, but um, when she, I asked her to show me on the internet, they look like women's boobs that look like burgers. Really? Oh, I she say. Has with, she has a problem with telling everybody they have burger nips. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, Abigail's got a problem with burger nips. Do you think Abigail might have this problem herself? I think she might possibly, yes. Oh, okay. So what we need to do is send some healing. Some healing of the mind for Abigail. I'm going to just go to my crystal ball, which is in front of me, and I'm going to feel Abigail. Feel her. No, I'm only feeling her aura. Oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not a pedophile, thank you. I might live in Villa Ricky, but I'm not a. Pe oh no, I don't live in Villa Ricky. I live somewhere in Essex. Just somewhere is it in Essex? Right. Okay. I'm sending some healing to Abigail. Can you tell me? Do do any of her friends say this sort of thing as well? So it's probably only Abigail. Probably only Abigail. Okay. Actually, somebody did send me in a little bit. I did have a little bit of a thing on the wind about this. And I've done a few drawings of different nipples. Right. Just to um, give people a rough idea. I think the bigger ones would be the burger ones. 
Right, let me let me have it. Oh, I've got a bigger one here. Somebody sent me in. The real big ones. The real big ones that almost take out all of the flesh of the boobette. Really? Yes. Yes. And somebody rang in and said that they were in the A and E department and somebody told them that somebody had come in with five nipples. Five nipples. My God, she had a heart attack if she heard that. Yeah, one was really, really large. Really large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right then, Julie. Well, what I'm going to do is I'll send my invoice to you. Okay. Um, for my um, my advice, my healing powers, that will be um. 90 quid. Right, really? All right. That's a good price, isn't it? You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> well, at least I've got a little idea about burglars. Yes, yes. It's quite natural. It's just an enlargement of the areoli ice. The areoli. Right. All right. Oh, nothing to worry about. I'm sure she'll grow out of it. Yeah, I hope so. Yes. Yeah, tell her she can always get some lightener and lighten the edges. Lighten the edges of her burger nips. Yeah, yeah. But tell her not to, you know, not to bully other people about her own problem. <laughs> That's not what you do, is it, Julie? You know. No. All right, my dear. Okay, All right, lovely talking to you. Thank you for ringing Thank in. Bye. Bye. Oh, she sounded like a lovely lady. She's got a bit of a problem there if her daughter's got it and she don't realise. But, you know, treat everyone with dignity and respect. Love one another because you don't know... You don't know what's round the corner, darlings. And Penny, Penny will always be here for you. This video was sponsored by Shell Do Well. We're always here for you, darling. I love you lots. Oh! Oh, by the way! I've got some brilliant news. My little Tiffany, my greatest fan who bought me this lovely shell necklace. She's having a baby girl! Rock on, Tiff! Love you guys. See you soon. Mwah! Penny. Sponsored by Shell Do Well. And she will. Oh! I love to go a while sailing in my little orchard fair And I drank too much cider and I fell into a well Love you guys! Till next time!